Hey everyone, so this is what I call a real world speed test here between the budget iPad versus the most expensive iPad you can buy currently. So we have the base iPad 9 versus the base iPad Pro 12.9 with the M2 processor. Uh, so this is iPad 9, this is the iPad Pro 12.9 with the M2, uh, but they are both the base versions of their tablets. Uh, so this is normally $330. This is normally $1,100. So you're essentially here in the U.S. That is. So here you are spending three times the amount for the iPad Pro than you are the iPad 9. Uh, and these were on Black Friday sale for like $270, I believe. Uh, and this actually I bought on Black Friday sale for uh, 55 bucks off. So I think it went down to 10.45, something like that. Uh, so let's see how they both do. Again, yeah, both of these are what I would call more or less premium tablets, even though this is their budget tablet from Apple. Both have been cleared of their histories. Both are on my home Wi-Fi. Uh, both are about the same brightness as well. Again, that doesn't matter for speed test, but uh, so we'll do an internet browsing speed test here. We'll go on to PUBG. We'll do a speaker test as well. And yeah, then we'll go into the App Store. Uh, see how they both do. All right, so first we're doing the speed, the uh, internet speed test here. Going to BestBuy.com, BestBuy.com. Yeah, both have been cleared of their histories. Uh, so let's see how they both do. Again, both of these are very fast devices. Go ahead and we'll hit allow there. Uh, so you still have your Black Friday sales going on today. Is the day after Black Friday? It is Saturday. Go ahead and we'll hit wearable technology here. And we'll let these do their thing. So of course the iPad Pro should win in every aspect of this video. Uh, again, the price is about three times the price of what the iPad 9 cost. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll hit the Fitbit shop now. Let's see how these do. All uh, right, so these are all on sale. Fitbit Sense is only 140 bucks. Uh, yeah, and actually, I like the Fitbit Sense over the Fitbit Sense Two. Fitbit Sense Two is rather laggy. All right, let's see. That one actually won. Let's scroll down here so all this other stuff can load in. All these other things you might want, might well, will load in here. Both actually going about the same. All right, let's go ahead. We'll hit these earbuds. I said we'll hit this earbuds. All right, let's let that load in for a moment here. Let's go ahead. We'll hit the white ones. There we go. Let all the extra stuff load in. And interesting enough, even though this is 12.9 inches, this is 10.2, you're actually getting almost everything on the same screen. You're actually seeing everything, uh, everything you see on this screen, you're seeing on this screen, it's just this one's bigger. So you're not actually seeing more stuff on the 12.9, which is, which is quite interesting. All right, there we go. Both are very, very fast, like I said. All right, next we'll go into monsterhunter.com here. One thing I do want to point out that's really nice about the iPad Pro is you have a .com button down there. Uh, the iPad 9 does not have that button. So you have to type out everything, which is just so hard to do. Uh, but anyway, it's a very nice feature on the Pro. Go ahead here and go into monsterhunter.com. Again, this is a little bit of a heavier website, just like Best Buy is. So it will take them a little bit longer to load in. Let's see. So the iPad Pro looks like it is done. iPad 9 is still going to be loading in. Y'all can see there. Uh, both screens are very nice. Of course, the iPad Pro has a nicer screen overall though. 
Uh, but both of them are very, very nice looking. I don't know, I have the best eyes for this type of stuff, and both of these actually look very, very similar to me. Alright, let's go ahead, we'll hit Monster Hunter Rise here, which opens up a new uh, page up top there, as you can see. We'll go into the official Nintendo Switch website. Uh, if you guys have never played Monster Hunter, I highly recommend checking them out. I have not played this game yet. It is on my wish list of games to play. Uh, but the last one I played was Monster Hunter World. Very, very good. So let this load in. Again, this is a heavier website. And let's see here. And of course, sometimes too, my Wi-Fi just decides it does not want to work. Or just wants to slow way down. So let's see. There we go. There's all the news. News. Uh, so iPad M2 is definitely going to be winning here. The iPad Pro. Alright, getting off of the internet browsing speed test here. Let's go into PUBG and PUBG. See how this does with a heavier game. And both have been updated right before this video. So we should not have anything, any interruptions with them loading in here. So the iPad Pro is done. And then the iPad 9 will be coming in, maybe, there we go. So, what is it, maybe 10, 15 seconds, uh, because they're on the same, they're on the same account, so this one came in second, so it kicks out the iPad Pro. Alright, but the iPad Pro definitely won by about, probably about 10 seconds or so there, 10, 15 seconds. Going to the App Store. Go ahead, we'll go over to apps. Let's go ahead and hit this first one. It actually loaded in faster. There we go, that was weird. There we go. Last but not least, we'll do a quick speaker test here. Uh, so, same song, Royalty Free Music on YouTube. Both will be up to max volume. The iPad 9 only has two speakers, and they, to me, they made the mistake of putting them both on the same side. There is none up top. So, you only have dual speakers. The iPad Pro has quad speakers. So you have two there and two here. Uh, with the iPad 10, to quickly mention this, it still only has two speakers, just like the iPad 9. But they took one here, put down here, and they took one and put it up there. Uh, so, yeah. Starting here with the iPad 9. And volume will be up on both these all the way. Then the iPad Pro. I'm alone, I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own and know. I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want to and shouldn't find a home, but if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's next if I never know? You all can let me know what you think, but the iPad Pro definitely wins with the quad speakers. It just gets really, really loud, really, very, very good sounding. Uh, it's just very good speakers on that, like they have been for pretty much since they've been out with the iPad Pro. Uh, this sounds decent, but they're both on the same side. That's what ruins it. Uh, they're not bad sounding. They do get decently loud. It's just, if you're watching like 
movie or something, it's not going to sound as good, uh, especially something with quad speakers or even something with two speakers on one on either side. Uh, you all let me know what you think, though. Uh, so, yeah. Real world speed test here, real world speed test here between the iPad Pro 12.9 with the M2 versus your iPad 9. Uh, so your most expensive iPad they can buy versus the least expensive uh, line of iPad you can buy here. Uh, you all let me know what you think. I really do like both of these. These are both very quick devices um, for normal uses like we did here. I'm not doing any 4K video editing or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, you all let me know what you think. As always, I really do appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. Happy holidays. Goodbye.